Kix 105.5. That was our intro music there. I like it. It is. It is 745. It's time for Good Policies, brought to you by the Barrett Insurance Agency, uh, online at thebarrettagency.com, and they're on Facebook as well, I understand. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere, right. somehow, at Barrett Insurance hey, Agency. How was Memorial Day? Memorial Day was, was fantastic. What a what a beautiful time. You know, for us, it's it's uh, one of uh, uh, the Matt family. Uh, we, we've we been uh, just celebrating Memorial Day. The Matt for, family. I well, like that's it. their name, yeah, the, the Matts. People, people in the Danville Walden and Waterford area know them. And, uh, oh, uh, I thought you were talking the, about your cousin's family. Oh, no, 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 no. Their last name is Matt, M-A-T-T-E. Okay, okay. And uh, for over 30 years, we've been having a Memorial Day barbecue over the week on that weekend, and uh, we are all still doing it, and it's awesome. So it's just a, a good time. So I'm going to rain on your parade. Don't you dare. Well, I have to because we're here to talk about insurance. Oh, that part, yeah. And uh, when I have home insurance, if I have a swimming pool behind my house— and I have a bunch of friends over, mm-hmm. and somebody gets pretty severely injured. <laughs> am am I dead? Am I? No, no, you're covered. You're covered. For what? I mean, what what if they end up going through five hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, surgery for? So you are you are covered up to the limit of liability available uh, on the policy, which on is your what policy. you've chosen. You okay. specifically, when you bought your policy. You were given options of: Do you want one hundred thousand, which I never sell? That's just way too low. Three hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. Some companies say you want a million. Some companies so, say but, you want two million. Okay, let's say there's a there's a there's a, a young man who dives into my swimming pool and hits his head on the bottom and and does, uh, you know, permanent damage to mm-hmm. his spine. There's sure. going to be hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars worth of medical bills that will follow surgeries, and my cap is. Two hundred and fifty or five hundred thousand. Am I going to be responsible for the difference? Depends. Depends. I mean, they, they could work their you know they could put liens on the house. I mean, that's the the the, the one thing that a lot of folks don't think about well, when they're purchasing their policies, whether it be auto, home, or well, anything else. It, it's, it's the liability once it's maxed out. That doesn't say, hey, we've maxed out the policy, so you're all set. Have a good day. No, if they max out your policy. They could still go after you. Well, uh, well that, but it's more than that. Mm-hmm. If these are friends, family, whatever, and they incur these debts, we want that stuff to be covered. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, and friends become enemies over things like this very easily. Well, and that's why we're having the conversation yeah. because on Memorial Day, you know, there's a lot of uh, events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you bring up a great thing that not many people think about, and, and uh, of all the products that we offer, this is probably the one that gets the least amount of press. And the least amount of interest. We talk about it a lot, but not a lot of folks are interested. And it's called an umbrella policy. And it is extremely affordable. Uh, what an umbrella policy it is exactly as it sounds. It's an umbrella that goes above and beyond your policy. So if you have a home, auto, motorcycle, boats, whatever you got, if you have, you can, you can actually put that and we would rate it appropriately based on your exposures, uh, based on your driving records, whether you have youthful operators, things of that nature. And if your if your liability becomes exhausted, you would have then the trigger of this umbrella that can be an additional really? one million, two million, oh, see, five million, ten million so, dollars. So you know, if you're if you don't have kids and you have a small house and you have nice steps and nobody's going to get hurt, but if you've got a swimming pool, mm-hmm. if you've got a trampoline in the backyard, well, first off, you, don't get the trampoline. Well, and we know that. I know. But but, I know. but people get them, right. and people get hurt on them. Yes, and uh, now, if, you, if you get the trampoline, you can't tell your insurance agent because <laughs> they'll drop they'll drop you like a hot potato. <laughs> no, and that's the, that's the thing too is that you know I drive by clients' houses and I'm not I'm not I'm not Big Brother. I'm not coming to look at your you know if I'm driving past your house, I'm not going to go ooh. <laughs> there's a there's a trampoline I'm going to have to say goodbye to these guys. No. Yeah. If that happens, yeah, we we certainly take note. We have to. It's our obligation. It's 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 what our duty to the company. We have a duty to the insurance carriers that we represent, and a duty to our clients. Right. And we always have to really weigh that. But you know, most carriers will not cancel you if you have a trampoline. They, they don't won't. want it. They, they don't want it. Some companies will. The netted trampolines have a little more leeway. The unnetted trampolines are horrible. We just don't even want to see those. Right. Um, but I, I tell people this. I'm sure I've said it millions of times on here. And think about this. So let's say you've got that million-dollar uh, liability on your homeowner. 
You bought an umbrella at $2 million. So now the insurance carrier is sitting there waiting with a $3 million check, waiting for somebody to get injured on right. your trampoline. Because let's, let's be honest, it's going to happen. The severity of injury varies greatly. Anything from damaged pride to broken limbs to brain damage. To, it yeah, is to just, permanent spinal cord injuries yeah. and that kind of thing, right? So, so, you know, the people get mad when they go, well, insurance companies shouldn't tell me what to do. Well, when they are the ones that have the he, deep... Easy on the water bottle. There. Sorry there. Yeah, yeah. It was my gavel. <laughs> yeah, I see my, that. Yeah. My gavel. But when the insurance companies are the ones with the checkbook, because you have now taken you know, your duty of, of responsibility and passed that to the company, now you're acting on behalf of the company, and in a sense, not reckless, but you're acting in a way the company really doesn't want, because well, they well, really don't want to have to have that exposure if they can avoid it. Would the company ever make you sign a waiver? Some companies do uh, sign waivers. I would love, I've never seen them in litigious action. I would love to, because I think lawyer probably could work around that. Now, if, you're, if your kid is studying gymnastics and you need a trampoline, the way to do it is to dig a hole, put the trampoline in at ground level. So if they fall off, they're not falling any further. And then all around it, put uh, like exercise mats mm-hmm. So and then put the net up. And then uh, you'll still have to sign the waiver. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll never drive by your house. Yeah, never drive by your house. It's, it, you know, I always say, and I've said it a million times, I am the killer of fun. Insurance people are the killer of fun. But we have to kind of take that road of uh, let's find things that are not so dangerous and, right. and hope for the best. But, but again, I remind people, you know, if you had a family member or a friend who sustained, uh, we're not worried so much about the liability. We're not worried about, you know, whether or not you're going to lose everything. We're worried about these people who have been through something terrible, being able to cover uh, the, the medical expenses incurred in, you know, and I mean, that just becomes uh, something that we do out of love for each other. You exactly. Know? And it's, it's amazing to think that the fun of bouncing does not outweigh the uh, the impact of your life if something tragic happens the right. rest of the way. But so. then you can say that about snowmobiles. Every year, somebody rides their, 10 people ride their snowmobiles into trees, and, yeah. and that's the end of it, you know. Right. And, well, you're absolutely right. And, and there's a risk with wrecks, everything. There really wrecks, is. You know, it's yeah. about managing it appropriately. And, and again, I mean, there are many companies that will take the netted. I I take a strong stance on trampolines just because, you know, I've, I'm not that I've had the Kool Aid, but I myself have been on a trampoline and hurt myself. Oh, uh. so, you know, and, and that's why when I said injury, I damaged my pride. All right. <laughs> sometimes that's worse. <laughs> it, it is sometimes. All right. Well, uh, thank you for. Uh bringing it up. We're not done with this topic yet, I don't think. Oh, good. More conversation on the killer of fun. All right. Uh, very good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to change the name of the show. Good Policies brought to you by... Barrett Insurance Agency, Portland Street, St. Johnsbury. You can give us a call, 748-5224, online, Barrett Insurance Agency, the Barrett Agency, sorry, and Facebook is Barrett Insurance Agency. And we'll talk next week. Yes, sir. All right.